What's up guys, Trizzle Trey with Triz Tech and Electronics. Today we are here to do the last comparison test in this series. This is a disc speed test between the late 2011 model MacBook Pro and the new 2012 Retina MacBook Pro. So with the late 2011 model we're going to be using a program called Blackmagic Disc Speed Test. I'm going to start the test here. Uh, I'm going to let it both do the read and write speeds and we're going to freeze frame it so you guys can see exactly how fast or slow it is. So here's the freeze frame. You can see it's about 65 millibytes a second read and write with the late 2011 model MacBook Pro. So that pretty much does it with the late 2011 model. We're going to move now to the 2012 Retina MacBook Pro and you're going to see just how much faster that SSD really is. So this, what is this? I can't tell. Oh, but there it is, the gorgeous 2012 Retina MacBook Pro. So we're going to do this the exact same way. We're going to jump in with Blackmagic Disk Speed, uh, the pro Disk Speed Test Program. So we're going to open it up, we're going to jump right into the test, and you're going to see just how much faster this thing is. I'm going to let it do its thing, both read and write, and then I'm going to freeze frame this so you guys can see just how much faster this thing really is. So here we are in the freeze frame now, 405 millibytes a second write and 447 read. It's just ridiculous. So that pretty much does it with the Retina MacBook Pro, it's just so much faster. I'm going to leave you guys here with a still image shot of uh, the read write of the 2011 and the Retina. So here it is, that's it. As you guys can see, the drastic difference. As it says above, please do not forget to subscribe, like, favorite, or share. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is the last in the series, so if you did, definitely give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I really hope you enjoyed. Peace.